Hey hey y'all, welcome back to my channel again and again and again. I'm back for another video. Um y'all, this is an eight-day-old wash and go fro big. It's big, it's fluffy, it's huge, it's a mess, it's disgusting. <laughs> um I didn't have time to wash my hair yesterday on normal wash day, so today I just had to stick with it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's just kind of big and it I hate when my hair feels dirtier than it needs to be, you know, like when I'm off schedule. But yeah, it's not that bad, but oh my god, it's time for me to wash. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> doesn't kill my... It's time for me to wash his hair, so I thought I would come to you guys. I already have a wash routine. I really just need to redo all my videos because I've done so much stuff differently ever since my hair is longer. See, these aren't even curls. This is like just a fro. That's a mess. It's longer now. Like, it almost reached my nipples. Reaches my nipples. Oh my gosh, this one actually almost does reach my nipple. So yeah. But yeah, um, for today I'm just going to show you guys the difference between um, finger detangling your hair and using a brush, a comb, a Denman brush, a wet brush. In that area, they're all the same. But um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys like the difference on what it does for my hair, the time difference. All that stuff. So on one side of my head, I'm going to be showing you the finger detangling. <laughs> and on the other side, on the other side, on the other side, I'll be showing you like, I'm going to be using a Denman brush and my wet brush because I don't use combs ever. So yeah, doesn't mean I don't have them. I just only use them. So yeah, this is an eight day old wash and go that needs to go and get washed. <laughs> funny, funny, I'm funny. But yeah. Okay, y'all. Let's just jump right. Let's just jump right into this. So I'm using this mixed chicks uh, leave-in conditioner um, on my hair. Yeah, it's like my second time using it, and I'm so excited that I found this and decided to use it. It's like a shea butter feeling at first, and then like when you start using it, it gets really like oily and smooth, and it's really good for detangling. So I'm just gonna start off with <laughs> freshly washed hair. All I have is um, like Aussie Moist conditioner in my hair. Not like all over my hair, but like just to keep my ends like hydrated, you know, while I'm going through this process. So this is what my hair looks like when it's washed. I'm going to do a couple length checks, you know, almost hitting my nipples. That's what's up. That's what's up. So yeah, um, after I do this length check with you, I'm trying to get out these knots shaking. Oh my Lord. But yeah, it's been a long time since I've been doing, since I freaking, what's it called? Detangle my hair. So yeah, I'm just going to take um, this short section in the front and I'm just gonna tie off the rest of my hair into um, you know a bun to keep it out of the way you know don't want to cause more tangles so yeah and then I'm just gonna go ahead and um, start generously putting this conditioner on my hair y'all I only put it on my I put it on my ends and then I work my way up because my ends need more moisture than the roots do because the roots are new and I'm gonna use this wet brush this is the first method that I use um, which is this wet brush and I love this wet brush the only thing about using a brush for me is that my shrinkage is a little bit more intense when I use a brush um, because I'm thoroughly getting every tangle out and I'm getting all the shed hair out and I mean of course I see tangling but like a brush goes in depth but I normally don't use brushes all the time because I just rather be safe but as you can see this conditioner helps my brush literally just flow through my hair it's kind of ridiculous but I just start from the very bottom and I work my way up as you can see and then um, I'm just adding more water to you know moisture the more moisture the better so I'm just gonna keep brushing it through I always keep going because you have to be patient with this and make sure you get everything because you don't want to half-ass detangle your hair because especially if you want your hair to last a long time you want to make sure you do well and you do it slowly and patiently in the beginning so it works. And I'm just going to twist it up and coil my ends and then whatever excess I take and I wring it through for my ends and then I'll just put it on the rest of my hair because you don't want to waste product. As you can see, I really apply this generously, like generously because, hey, the more the merrier for me. Um, there's actually a lot in that tub like it doesn't seem like there's a lot but there's a lot and I just I love it it smells so good too and I'm gonna use a Denman brush I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just showing you guys how I took out the middle rows because the I'll just put a tutorial down below but 
Yeah, they just it just helps easier comb through since my hair is so thick. And yeah, this brush to me is a little harder. I liked this brush a lot better when I had um when I had short hair, but it still works the same to me. I just had to finger detangle a little bit to get it all the way through. But I will always love the wet brush before the Denman brush, but the Denman brush is still a good like investment if you want to try it out. But yeah, I just this brush does the exact same thing. I'm just showing you guys how like the conditioner just helps the brush run through my curls like and the same thing for a comb too it just really helps i'm just gonna redo the end i worked myself what i worked my way up from the bottom and i'm just making sure i got everything out i'm taking my fingers through at the ends to make sure all the shed hair that's at the end you know didn't get caught and i'm just gonna roll it back up the usual this is what i do with the brushes when i do use brushes and yeah Okay, y'all, now on to finger detangling. Okay, okay. So I'm just do a couple length checks on this side too because, you know, some areas are different. So yeah, I'm just going to do the exact same thing as my brush. I'm going to spray with water. I'm going to add my conditioner at the very end. And this, this time with my finger detangling, I do start from the bottom to the top, but a lot of times I'll just go ahead and separate my hair naturally where it wants to separate and detangle, especially since this conditioner helps and just melts away my you know tangles so yeah I always go ahead and just separate at first and that makes all like the tangles that are at the roots and stuff fall to the bottom which makes finger detangling so much easier now this finger detangling does take a lot longer than the wet brush but I will always love to finger detangle because it's it's, it's more convenient when you're in the shower you can do it in the shower you don't have to worry about if you have your brush if you're on vacation nothing and it works just as well and it's natural and it's safer it's so much safer unless you do it crazy like you just want to rip out your whole life outside your scalp but yeah I just love finger detangling because you can actually feel every knot and every tangle in there and a lot of times it helps with stretching my hair because I have I have a long length and people don't notice that so when I use a brush my hair just shrinks up and it looks like I have short short hair but when I use my fingers a lot of the times um, it just helps elongate my curls not that I don't like shrinkage it's just what I prefer and yeah that's pretty much it y'all it's like self-explanatory it's just so much easier and convenient for me and I will always choose finger detangling both are both are bomb.com y'all could do both of them but I will always choose finger detangling because yeah and I'm just gonna put my deep conditioning cap on this mug looking like the girl from Polar Express the usual I'm just gonna put my deep conditioner cap on and leave it on for like an hour or overnight it depends on what I really feel like and I'll continue on with my my curl defining so I'll see you guys in my next one deuces <laughs> Bye guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna deep condition this weave, you know what I'm saying? Hope you guys enjoyed it, it's all the differences. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys as usual in my next one. Like, subscribe, all that jazz to me up on my social media. Share, you know, help a brother out. I'm weird. I'm so weird. Why? I don't. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm gonna do it like an aim done. I'm gonna do it like an aim done. <laughs>